what's up. I want to talk about paranormal activity <clears throat> and why that uh, it occurs and why it occurs more often at nighttime rather than daytime. Okay, um, you know I used to do paranormal investigations. You know I used to like going on uh, ghost hunting and everything like that. <clears throat> and once I learned. Um, you know, astral travel, um, I just kind of threw all that out the window, you know, because you, you kind of gain a greater knowledge of what's really going on. <clears throat> but what happens is during daytime hours, everyone is awake and moving around. Everyone is has their awareness completely focused here in the physical reality. You know, everybody's uh, creating and, and sustaining everything, you know, holding everything in place, you know. Uh, you know, you're experiencing uh, 3D, you're experiencing, um, you know, everything. You see this house, this building, and your perceptions are, are holding that together, you know, strongly, tightly. And at nighttime is when all the activity usually occurs or occurs more often and the reason for that is during the night is when everyone goes to sleep so no longer is everyone completely focused and, and has their awareness right here on the physical everyone is moving and uh, transitioning you know into the dream states and uh, you know going out of body and, and you know their awareness and, and perceptions are elsewhere rather than in the physical so they're not maintaining that strong focus on you know physicality so during night when people are asleep what is happening is uh, as they move away with their awareness you know into dream states and whatnot the veil gets thinner between the dimensions because more people are perceiving you know the dream uh, states so basically I mean that's what's happening and that's why you know during the nighttime hours that happens and, uh, I think I forget what times uh, most astral projection uh, occurs I think it's like between 2 and 4 a.m. but um, and, and I would do like investigations and I would record and I would get so many EVPs and different things and what I come to realize is not every voice that I called on the recorder was someone who died. And what I started to, to get and realize was that these are from uh, people traveling out of body at night while they sleep or, and dreaming and just moving about. And, and acting and reacting or whatever they're doing at night and I, w I would actually catch their voices and uh, I realized this because you know I, w I would catch some really odd things and uh, one night I was in my house and I awoke at like uh, it was like 2 in the morning and I hear like uh, footsteps running and laughing and it sounds like children like like a couple children are playing in the other room and I'm like what the hell you know I get up and uh, you know I look and my girlfriend is looking at me and she's like do you hear that she's like sounds like kids are in there and I was like yeah it does I grabbed my recorder you know and went in there and I called you know the voices of children playing you know and you come to think like are these children uh, deceased you know what are they doing here and then I would catch uh, voices of people talking about like neighboring cities and just so much random stuff and uh, I started to realize that these aren't uh, some of them although are are deceased people some are not some are just uh, traveling out of body at night you know, people travel out of body. They go to sleep and they get out of body. And some of them, you know, consciously like me, you know, or, or we go about, you know, and do our thing and remember the experience. But most people who travel out of body don't remember what happened. 
But, you know, they're, they're traveling around in these, like, zombified kind of dreamlike states, you know, and they're interacting with each other and doing things like this, you know, and, and just getting out of body myself, you know, I, I come to see, you know, things like this happening. And, uh, you know, that's when I, I realized, you know, this is, uh, this is why the paranormal activity occurs during the night, you know, basically the bell gets thinner, you know, as everybody's awareness moves on towards, you know, the dream states or whatever. And, uh, you know, a lot of these people are just projecting in their sleep, and this is some of the things that I was catching. So, you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys, alright? Thanks.